Welcome back to another episode of Raw Talk where we get zero Fs over here. I know y'all need to do me a solid, hit that like button on your way in. That subscription is free on the way out. So today we're gonna be talking about Savage Studios. Um, a lot of people said that, you know, at one point he wanted to fight me or we had a fight set up, which is not the truth. It was more along the lines of just fans instigating stuff and supporters from both sides instigating stuff, I guess. Um, but I've never talked to Savage Studios, never even communicated with him, never made a video about him. This is the first video I'm actually going to even mention him or even talk about him. Uh, I feel like when y'all ask me my take on that situation, I feel like y'all really just want me to talk about the situation. Because at the end of the day, I didn't know, buddy. And at the end of the day, all these YouTubers that are posting about Savage Studios, like, oh, RIP Savage Studios, and you'll be Miss Savage Studios, it just shows how fake y'all were, bro. Because just a, just like three, four months ago or something like that, if you go back on videos, which y'all are probably going to delete now, but if you go back on videos, y'all channels was just talking you know, mad smack about Savage Studios. Y'all were like, oh, he got caught in Walmart doing this or whatever. And oh, him and his girlfriend and y'all were all in their relationship, tearing their relationship apart and all type of other stuff. Oh, he's a PC and this, that, and the third. And like, dude, I don't, I can't show no fake love, bro. I ain't nobody. So I can't just sit here and just sit and show no fake. Look how beefy don't let them show this love. Stop playing with him. Ooh. Listen, I can't just sit here and show fake love and talk about buddy like that, bro, and be like, oh, R.I.P. Savage Studio. I'm not I'm not going to talk bad about him because I never talked bad about him in the first place, and I'm not going to talk good about him. I'm just going to say what it is. He, he was a, a, an online social media entertainer, and he had a lot of vendettas and a lot of beefs or whatever between him and his gangs and his city or whatever was going on with him bro and his personal life people die every day dude like at the end of the day like it just it, it it's just another person to me but do i feel bad i'm not gonna sit here and be on the internet like yeah i feel bad because i don't know buddy one and Number two, like, I don't show fake love. Like, I'm not going to sit here and weep and say I feel bad about something that I don't know nothing about that I don't even, it doesn't even affect me in any type of way. So, he's just not somebody I communicated with. I've never even had words with him. So, at the end of the day, I can't show fake love because I don't know, buddy. You know what I mean? But my condolences do go out to, I believe, uh, her name is Brittany and the, the mother of his child and his child. My condolences do go out to that family because it is super tough to raise a kid without a dad. And it's one thing I'm totally against is, you know, fathers abandoning their children, which he had no choice in the situation. But at the end of the day, she's still widowed and she's still going to be raising a child by herself. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, it's rough. It affects everybody. It, it affects, that's, I, I kind of feel sympathy for her. I, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I feel sympathy for her, but do I feel sympathy for him? No, because I didn't know him. And he was, he was involved in what he was involved in. And that's just the outcome of this. That's just the outcome of what you get involved in. And it's like, I don't feel bad for nobody but the family. The family was the one that was affected the most. You know what I mean? And everybody talking about R.I.P. Savage Studios and R.I.P. this, but what about his kids? Nobody going to look in to see if he got kids and make a fundraiser for his kids. Make a college tuition. Put them in a better school. Move them out of the area they're in. I mean, from what I, from what I was told is he got shot in a gang-infested neighborhood at a tattoo parlor. Like, come on, bro. But anyways... That's another episode of Raw Talk. Hit that like button on your way out. Y'all already know what time it is. I love y'all, man. We out of there.